Hey fellow riders, are you looking to learn how to use GPS tracks for a BDR or other adventure route? Well, I'm going to show you how starting right now on Moto Travel USA. So I've seen a ton of questions on Facebook and forums on how to use GPS tracks. And while there are some good videos out there, they are a bit old. So I thought I'd make a new one to show people how to use GPS track for BDR or other adventure route. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use tracks with a Garmin Zumo XT and using Garmin Basecamp on a PC. Here is the basic way to use the tracks as is. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the Backcountry Discovery Routes website. It's at ridebdr.com and they make it really easy to get the GPS tracks. There's this red button off to the right at this point and just hit download GPS tracks. Once on this page, type in your name and info and select the track that you want. We're gonna do the Mid-Atlantic BDR for this. Choose as many as you want. It'll give you links to all of them. Scroll down agree to their terms and conditions, and then let them know you're not a robot and hit submit. Once you do that, a download link will show up and you can click it and it will start to download. The file will end up being in your downloads folder, wherever that may be on your particular computer. Once you've downloaded the track, switch over to Garmin Basecamp we're going to go over to my collection and right click and create a new list folder. I'm just going to call this Mabder test and then select that folder and create a new list. I'm just going to call that Mabder tracks. Make sure that that list is highlighted and then go up to file import. And if you go to your downloads folder, you'll see the Mabder August 2021 or whatever their most current version is. Select that and hit open and Garmin Basecamp will import the tracks and everything that's included with them. To transfer the files, hook up your Garmin Zumo XT to the computer with a USB cable. It'll show up within Basecamp. And all you have to do is take this Mabder tracks list, select it and hold down the button as you drag it to the Zumo XT. Little icon will show yellow that it's transferring and then turn green once everything has transferred to the GPS. And as you can confirm, everything transferred and is in here. Now let's take a look at how to show the tracks on your Garmin Zumo XT and the optimal setting for that. Start up your Garmin Zumo XT agree to the warnings and to display the tracks, go to apps, hit tracks. And as you can see, everything is there that we transferred into it. We want to show the first one. So that's section one, select section one, hit this wrench. You can set the color to whatever you like. I actually like red nice and dark. On the Garmin Zumo XT, you can also select the width of the line that shows up on the map. I like to select the widest. So select widest, hit save, scroll down. And this is the most important thing, show on map, select show on map, and hit done. Now what you just did, you initiated this track to show up on the map when you go to that. I'm gonna back out of that, hit view map. I'm just gonna zoom out like crazy. And as you can see, it's showing up. If I were in Virginia and close to this section, I would be seeing the track and the motorcycle online with that. Now some other important settings that you want to initiate, select settings, go to maps and vehicle. What I like to do is make sure that the map detail is to more because if you have less, it might not show 
back roads and everything. So if you have it on more, all of those type of roads are gonna show up. Hit save. Scroll down. You also wanna disable auto zoom. Auto zoom is more for highway riding. You're gonna have to manually zoom into the track, but that helps you navigate it. So make sure auto zoom is disabled. Now that's the basic way to use tracks. It'll show on your GPS and you'll be able to follow it, but it's not gonna give you turn by turn directions. I see a lot of people wanting turn by turn directions. And here's how I was able to get turn by turn navigation to work using tracks. To create a route from the track, zoom in to whatever track you wanna use. I'm gonna to go to section nine and you can either select it in the map window or over here in the list and right click and select create route from selected track. Garmin Basecamp will go through its thing, looking at the track and creating a route from it. Once it finishes, you can actually confirm that it follows the exact same route by alternating between the two. And as you can see, it created a perfect route. Now why I like to do it, you can do this. You can create a route from a track within the GPS. And I've done that successfully, but I do like to do it within Basecamp because then I can confirm that it created it correctly. Now you'll want to transfer that file to the Zumo XT, just like I showed you before. First time you start up the Garmin Zumo after transferring the turn by turn directions, Hit agree. And the Zumo XT is gonna prompt you new routes found, import to trip planner. You wanna select yes. You select all the routes, the turn by turn directions that you put in here and hit import. So go to settings, go to navigation. And an important part of this is to make sure that this is off. The off route recalculation, because what will happen if you miss a turn and have this on automatic, the Garmin Zumo XT will automatically recalculate all of your route and take it off of the track and everything. So you wanna make sure that off route recalculation is off or prompted. Prompted could get a little annoying because a little pop-up screen comes up. And if you're in the middle of some gnarly riding, it's gonna be hard to take that off the screen. So I just turn it to off and then hit save. That way, when you go off route, and with Mabder, you're probably gonna go off route once or twice, just because there are so many turns. It's not gonna recalculate. You'll just have to turn around, get back on the route, and the, the turn by turn directions will continue. Now to start the turn by turn directions, make sure you have the tracks on, as I showed earlier, to load up and start the turn by turn directions, select app, trip planner, save trips, and your turn by turn directions. When you hit go, it's gonna give you an option of where to start the turn by turn directions. I usually keep it at the closest entry point unless I'm right at the beginning, but closest entry point is, usually works really well for me. And I hit okay. It's gonna calculate something crazy now because I'm nowhere near the route. But if you were near the route and did that, it'll lead you to the route and give you turn by turn directions while on the route. Now, if the turn by turn directions are really messed up after selecting closest entry point, just select the track 36. That's the starting point and hit okay. Usually one or the other will get me exactly what I need, but you might have to play with it on, out in the field depending on where you are. But usually closest entry point will work. Now I suggest using both the tracks and these turn by turn directions when you do this, because the turn by turn directions, while it has been mostly accurate when I've done it, it can have hiccups sometimes. So then you have the tracks as backup. Next, I'm gonna go over how to split and join tracks in case you wanna break up your days differently than what was provided in the GPX file. To split the track, the first thing you'll wanna do is go up to the main folder and right click and hit a new list. What I like to do is create a backup list. 
just to save the original tracks in case I ever have to go back to them. Now let's say section three of the MABDR, you wanna split that because you found a good camping site right here. You wanna stay here. The first thing I'll do is right click and duplicate this and then take the original and put that into backup. I will then remove it from this list. Make sure you don't delete because it'll delete it from Garmin Basecamp, every single folder and list. So just hit remove from this particular list. You have it in backup and then you have the duplicate you made right here. And really all you have to do is find where around where your campsite is, select it, right click and you split the track. So there you have it, it's split the track in two. You'll do this one day, and then you'll do this the second day. And as you can see, it just put a generic term there, so I'll go over here and follow the naming conventions of the download. MA3, day two. And that's how you split the track. Now let's say, you're looking at this, it's a little short, and you want to add it to day four. So you'll combine the second part of section three and section four the next day. To combine those, what you want to do is come over here and select the second day, and then also holding the control key select section four. Once you have those selected or all the tracks that you want to combine selected, go up to edit, advanced, and join the selected track. Now within this window, make sure it's in the proper order because if these were reversed, they would create some weird track for you that doesn't align with the original tracks. So make sure section three, Day two is up first, and then section four is second. Once you've confirmed that, hit okay. A dialog box will come up asking you if you want to delete the original tracks. I don't do that. I would like to throw them in the backup. So I hit no, and then it creates the second part of section three and section four as a brand new track. Again, it calls it something generic. So I go down here. following the naming conventions, MA3 and MA4, day two. Name it whatever you want. This is just for demonstration purposes. So now what you've done is created this for one day and you have the original section three part that you split and you're stopping the camp right here as another day. And as I did when I started this, I like to clean it up. And since you, we combined section four, I want to take that original track, throw it into backup and remove it from this list just to keep it clean. I also will take MA3 day two, the original split that we did, throw that into backup as well and remove it. Now that's really just maintenance and keeping this all clean. So it makes sense. And when you transfer, you can transfer this folder and you don't have these original, but you always have these available in case something happens when you're modifying or editing these tracks. And finally, in this video, I'll show you how to add to the track. I do this to add gas stations and hotels if they aren't on the main track. To modify the route, I'll use section nine as an example again. Let's say you found a hotel right here and you wanna add that to the track just to follow it to the hotel for the evening. So I'm gonna split this track like I showed you before by right clicking on it, split the track. Then I'm going to highlight the original one gonna zoom in and up here 
If you go over here, there'll be move point. And you can grab this, move it over, zoom out, and back. Let's say the hotel's right here. Now, as you can see, it doesn't follow because the track is made up of points and those points follow the roads. So when you just move the final point, it just makes a straight line. So you do have to add points as well. To do that, you select this pencil, come down here, select this section, and then follow along the route with some dots. If it's a straight line, you don't have to do as many. The curves are where you'll have to add a lot of points. And there you have it. That's how you add it. So you have section nine now. You found a hotel off the route and you added that hotel destination as part of the track to make it easier to navigate to. There you have it. Hopefully you learned a simple way to use tracks with your Garmin Zumo XT. It may and will be different with other devices. However, I have used it this way with a Garmin Zumo 396 as well, but the settings on the device are laid out a bit differently, just be forewarned but it is essentially the same setting. If this helped, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Motor Travel USA if you wanna see more videos like this and motorcycle adventure. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to try and answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Now let's go explore.